Alright guys, how's it going? CatCom here with Studio Sweat and Studio Sweat On Demand here with... Hello, it's Bethany! And... Brianna! And we're here today to talk about how to be able to work up to doing a normal sit-up. What someone would classify as like a normal sit-up. A full sit-up. A full sit-up, exactly. A full sit-up, hands behind the ears, the whole nine yards. And you know what's funny is uh, a 12-year-old, LaShawn's daughter Taylor, is the one that asked us to do this vlog because she was having a hard time doing oh, a sit-up. So that's awesome. I know, it's so awesome. I totally can understand that too. Yeah, okay. So the funny part about this vlog is when Kat asked me to teach a spin core class uh, a thousand years ago now, I couldn't even do a full sit-up. And when she asked me to teach a spin core class, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of started laughing because I'm like, the teacher can't even do one. Like, how am I supposed to get my kids and my students to do one? So, anyway, so it's important to be able to do and to learn how to work up to doing a full setup. Yeah, and almost everyone can. It's just how do you get there? So, don't feel like I can't do this. We don't use the word can't. No. It's I'm struggling with it, right? I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. Okay, so um, the first thing I'll say is don't be so focused on just doing sit ups. By the way, they're doing a little MMA in the background, so that's what you'll hear. Don't be so focused on only doing sit up and sit up progressions or regressions um, to be able to do a full sit up. You want to strengthen your core from every angle, and then you'll be able to do a sit up. Now, we will get into the specifics though, okay, when it comes to sit ups. So things like um, usually if somebody comes to me and says they have a weak core, I tell them to do a basic crunch, do bicycles, do leg drops, do supermans, strengthen your hamstrings. This whole section of your body is considered your core and yeah. when that strengthens, all of a sudden one day you'll be like, I'm going to try that full sit up and you might just get it because you're now strong as a whole. Yeah, yep, exactly. So a couple of areas of the core that people don't know are part of your core and this is up for debate, but it's really not. Your glutes, okay, your gluteus maximus, that's part of your core. Um, things like deadlifts that, you know, you don't think of as your traditional ab workout. Deadlifts, uh, planks, any of the planks, okay, are also good for that. So, okay, so that said, think about all of that and continue to work on those things. Um, but if you have a strong core, you have a strong body. The thing about core strength is it comes very quickly. So you're yes. gonna see gains very quickly. It also goes very quickly. Yes. So, so you, would you tell them to do core work every day? Uh, you, you can. I the would. Core, the core heals faster than any other you know, part of your body. So mm -hmm. generally you can. You'll notice your core won't be sore for too long usually. So it heals very, it's a lot of circulation there. So, okay. Now, that said, Bree is going to model for you. We have some things that you can do that are very specific to a sit-up to work your way up to being able to do a full sit-up. Okay. So the first thing that um, you can do is you can put your feet under something like your couch or a spin bike, or you can stick something like a med ball, um, one of the heavier med balls, not like the light ones, or dumbbells on your feet, and that'll help you just kind of gain some control, okay? So that's the first thing I would suggest, or if you have a partner, they can hold your yes. feet, okay? All right, Bree, take it down to your back. I'm oh, sorry, I meant to bring you on the it's mat, right. but you're good, you're so easy going. Do you want me to hold your head for oh, you? Definitely. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so, the first thing that I would suggest when you're learning or trying to strengthen up to a sit-up is grabbing your hamstrings on your first pull-up. When you go down, really focus on the negative, the way down, because that's where you're actually gonna gain a lot of strength. So she's just pulling as much as she needs to with her hands on her hamstrings, and then really focusing on going down slowly. You'll build a lot of core strength doing that. Yeah, it's not a race, go slow. Like, you'll see those people who are like whipping out, like, yeah, crunch, 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 full sit up, full sit up, and you're like, whoa, yeah. slow down, get your strength, Good control advice. it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so let's say that you master that, and all of these are with something on your feet, perhaps, okay, or not, doesn't matter. The next thing that I tell people to do is try to use momentum, which isn't necessarily going to strengthen your core on the way up, but it's the way down that matters more. So she's gonna take her hands, I call this a catapult sit-up, she's gonna take her hands over her head, and then she's gonna throw her arms forward. You saw how easy that looked. That looked even easier than the hamstring, right? Okay, so catapult up, and then you can even grab your hamstrings on your way down if you need to, okay? So that's the next progression. The next thing, let's say you've mastered that, just kind of fold your hands over your hips and come on up out of that. And again, nice and easy on the way down. After that, if you're feeling good about that, take your hands up to your shoulders and try to keep contact between your fingertips and your shoulders. Because if you take it away again, you're now... Back to momentum. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You're back to momentum using momentum. Good job. Okay, master that. Hands behind the ears. This is the traditional full sit-up that you... This is the real deal. Yeah, that's what you've been working your way up to. 
too. How's your core, Bree? I know. Yay! It's nice to get tired, right? Yeah. Alright. So, um, then once you've mastered all those, you can start doing the same things, but take the weight away. So, uh, yeah, just do the hamstring one to start, okay? So it's harder just by taking that weight away. So yeah. you can start those progressions or regressions at that point without anything on your feet. One of the things that I suggest also is that once you master this, you get up to being, you might only be able to do um, three full sit-ups, okay? With the hands behind your ears. Right. You can keep going, but regress the moves. So let's do two of each. So let's do two sit-ups. You want me to help you? Um, with your hands behind your ears. So we're gonna start with the hardest and go to the easiest. Okay, let's say, let's say now that you start to experience failure here, start to work your way down. Regress with those things that we just talked about. Good? All right, hands on the hips. We'll just do one of each now, okay? Next one was the catapult. Oh, you make this look so easy. Nice and slow on the way down, and then the hamstring pull. Because, for example, if we tell you you have to do sit-ups for a full minute, you might not be able to do them with your hands behind your ears. So pick your regression, and you can keep going. Okay, thanks, you have a strong core. All right, you guys. So that's my suggestion. I hope it works for you guys, and thanks for joining us. And like Bethany said, don't forget those spin core classes. You can stay there. Awesome. Yeah. And those are available at Studio Sweat or Studio Sweat On Demand. All right, you guys. Have a great day.